like this decision of backing the Congress. Because it's very important that KCR does not come back to power. KCR has not fulfilled any of the promises he made to the people of Telangana, be it loan waiver to the farmers, be it interest fee loans to the women, be it a job per household, be it the double bedroom homes, be it the unemployment stipend, be it the Dalit bandhu, the 10 lakhs that he said he'd give to the Dalit families, be it the 12% reservation for the Muslims. None of the promises and more even, none of the promises were fulfilled by Mr. KCR. And apart from not fulfilling any of the promises given by himself in the past nine years, KCR has been involved in huge amounts of corruption in the state of Telangana. There is the one project that you take, just one example that I take, is the Kaleshwaram project. It's a huge project going to the tune of 1,20,000 crores of rupees, out of which 1 lakh crore of rupees has come from the central financial institutions, which means that this money belongs to the taxpayers of India. And yet, no action has been taken against Mr. KCR, even though 70 lakh, 70,000 crores of rupees has been siphoned off. A recent example, last year, there was an episode where the Anaram pump house was fully flooded because there, the flood house was not even constructed at the given height, at the stipulated height. And also the retention walls were not made of concrete. And this year we have seen very recently that the Medigada barrage belonging to the Kaleshwaram project is in cracks now and it is at the verge of collapse. Mm. The National Dam Safety Authority themselves have come here and have claimed that there is flaw in, in, in execution, in planning and even in designing the project and in operations of the project. So when so many people are saying that there are so many flaws in the project and when it's evident that this, this project is a fiasco, why isn't any action being taken against Mr. KCR is my question. Why isn't there no CBI inquiry? Why isn't there no CAG, CAG inquiry? Why isn't anything being done against Mr. KCR? Mm. So I do not want KCR to come back to power for the sole reason that he is not a healthy option for the people of Telangana. And in order to help that, in order to make sure that KCR does not come back to power, I have decided to extend support to the Congress party that actually stands a chance of winning this Telangana Assembly election because as it happens that I happen to be YSR's daughter and as YSR's daughter because YSR is a congressman, like it or not, it happens that because I bear the legacy of YSR, I tend to pull out the Congress vote share. And if that happens, if I split the Congress vote bank, Congress is not going to come back to power because it's been established by the surveys that in more than 55 assembly constituencies, I am going to pull out considerable vote bank from the Congress and in 20 assembly constituencies, I am actually going to help Congress lose. And I do not want to do that at this juncture because it's very important that KCR does not should not come back to power. But why are you doing this favor? Because you, when you started off, and I remember in our multiple interactions, Rajana Rajyam was the promise you continue to have, I am sure. But why not contest independently? Why didn't you ask Congress to come to you? Because in this case, we've seen you've gone to Congress. There have been multiple back and forth, I think, over for the last four months now. Why did you not decide to contest independently? What about the effort that you've put in? The effort that I put in is huge, massive, because I walked 3,800 kilometers highlighting the problems of the people of Telangana. I fasted more than 40 days for the unemployed youth in Telangana. The effort aside, hmm. it is a fact that Vaisar Telangana party is a very young party. It's been only two years since we launched the party. Hmm. Even our symbol is not popular yet. Hmm. Of course, we stand, the, we stand various risks as an initial you know, launching party. We stand huge risk. Mm. And if we contest with the Congress, along with the Congress, the Congress will have the apprehensions of you know, aligning with uh, a, a party like ours that is small and unrecognized, still untested in, in Telangana. Mm. So we tried all kinds of other ways to help the Congress, but nothing else worked out. And that's why I had to make this sacrifice. So does that mean uh, that you no longer hold any ambition to contest independently in Telangana? No, that does not mean anything like that because it is only this particular election that we extended support to the Congress party. We have extended support to the Congress party only because 
We do not want KCR to come back to power because the only thing that will happen if I split the Congress vote bank is ensuring that KCR comes back to power. I will stay in Telangana. I will fight for the people of Telangana. I will continue my party as it is. And I hope that someday God will give me the opportunity and I will find the heart. The people of Telangana will find the heart to elect me as their leader.